up? It's official, guys, and we're down to the final four teams. And this is one of the last Dudley Tology seg segments, so let me break this down to you guys real quick how we're going to do this. We got Otai White versus Claremont playing at Morris High School at 6 p.m. Now, Claremont's been sneaking up, sneaking up, beating teams all year, right? On the other half, we got Otai White, who is undefeated. Who do I have in this one? Otai White, the Uso program out there, baby. They so crazy, doing it real well. The Otai White Broncos for their second year, second year in a row, going back to the Q-Bowl. That's what I have right there for the Otai White Broncos, going to the Q-Bowl on that half of the bracket. Turn up. Sorry about that, Warhawks. You guys had an excellent, excellent career, and hats off to your organization for doing a good job and getting you guys out there. UsportsCenter.com. Turn up. Otai White. Into the cue ball. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Taka dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, it's the game of the year. Maybe even the game of the decade. It's going to be so many players that we're going to talk about in this game versus Lost Toros versus the IE Ducks that are going to be playing on the next level, folks. Just watch and see. This is all going to turn out that way. We got the IE Ducks with JT Daniels and those big time wide receivers. Brew McCoy and Max Williams. Now, Max Williams is a deep threat. Brew McCoy is a deep threat. These guys get across early in the middle. The Kinslow brothers run the ball very well. You have uh, the big boys, Villarreal, and number 73, oh, Silifal. Uh, they, these guys are just stacked. Their coach, Keefe, he keeps these guys ready to go. You got Howden and Ware coming back again to prove to themselves that they're ready to go. And let me let you guys know something about the way things go in the AYF. As long as you don't turn 15 before a certain time and age, and I believe that's January 1st, you are good to play. So stop getting on these kids, talking about they're ineligible and things like that because they have birth certificates. You don't have proof of it. The AYF does have proof. Everything has been legit. Don't worry about it. These kids are playing with kids in their age range. It's kind of like the equivalent of a kid starting kindergarten too early. So some of these kids, some of these parents just feel like, hey, you know, you started early, didn't want them to be in high school playing with grown men and hadn't grown into their body. So they kept them back a little bit to give them a chance to play with kids their age. And you can't get mad because they're tearing it up doing it. Now, we got Lost Toros, Bulls, i.e. Ducks. Who do I have? I got the running of the Bulls taking this one. Sorry, Ducks, even though with all that talent, who's going to stop E.J. Henderson, the playmaker grandchilds? Who's going to stop Mueller out of the backfield? What, what, are, what is going to happen with Shawcroft? I haven't talked about him all year. Shawcroft might be one of the best defenders in the country at the defensive end. You guys have to check these guys out. Lost Toros, I got Lost Toros playing Otai again in the cue bowl for the second time, two times in two years. I.E. Ducks, check this out. If you guys win, I'll run a lap around Mount McGill Field after the game, and you guys can clap it up for me while I do it. So prove me wrong. If you guys can beat the running of the Bulls in the bull ring with all the Bulls coming back to check out the game. woo turn up. It's going to be a turned up affair. I'm getting calls all the way. Danny Jennings, everybody coming back to watch this one. It's ready to go. Turn up. Usportscenter.com. Game of the year. I.E. Ducks. Lost Toros Bulls. Really can't call a winner. But I got to pick the Bulls. That's how I'm doing it. Defense wins championships. Let's see if they can pull it off. IE Ducks, prove me wrong, and I'll run a lap. Turn up.